This July 2nd bed and busted issue is just the 16th edition to be released in Northeast Georgia, but already there have been hundreds of mug shots like these posted in the weekly paper. Many who've made an appearance are not too happy about it either. They want to complain that we've released their book and photograph to this party that's putting it in this magazine. The problem is, under Georgia's Open Records Act, the law is crystal clear. Oconee County Sheriff Scott Berry says the state's Open Records Act makes it legal for the public to view any booking photo and use that photo any way they choose. And unfortunately for the people in the photos you see here, the paper chose to publish their alleged crimes for other citizens to read about. The men and women pictured here were arrested for crimes such as probation violations, assault, theft, drug possession, and DUIs. Even UGA's former athletic director, Damon Evans, made it into the most recent issue. There's one sure way to keep your picture out of it, not get booked in the Oconee County Jail. Local convenience stores in Watkinsville and Athens sell copies of the bad and busted paper every week for a buck fifty each. Clerks say they have people who love it, while others think it should not be allowed. It's kind of wrong. Um, these people haven't been convicted of any crime. Why should their picture be placed on a, a newspaper that everyone can see? And it seems the man behind Bad and Busted realizes how many people he's upset over the past few months by posting their mug shots after they've been arrested. He spoke to me on the phone but did not agree to go on camera because he said too many people want to do him harm. The Bad and Busted staff prints in each issue that everyone in the paper is innocent until proven guilty and that the paper's goal is to inform citizens for their safety. In Watkinsville, Amelia Hines, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.